So bright our leaders need to change their attitudes. You know what? Uh, okay, so I'm cold, <laughs> but it is not that co it could be a lot cold. I've been here when it's been really, really cold, uh, man. And now that I think about it, since the gatherings here, we must have done a handful of gatherings now from Nebraska. I think I remember one time I was out that way. Anyways, I decided to uh, gather with you. There's a there's a little uh, thicket of woods behind the log cabin uh, here. Uh, for those of you who uh, who don't know my story, uh, uh, um, Allie's family, my wife's family, uh, has roots here in Brunswick, Nebraska. Population 174, uh, and uh, and the whole family. Now nobody lives here anymore, but uh, they they own this log cabin and they bought the one room schoolhouse down the road and every year the extended family converges on this place from all over the country um uh we finished up our tour in cedar rapids iowa we drove back to chicago where i dropped the bandies off in uh at o'hare airport and i picked up Allie and my daughter willa and we drove to Urbana and spent a couple days with my sister and my mom, uh, my buddy Sammy, his gal Callie, and their daughter India. We had an awesome pre-Thanksgiving Thanksgiving. And, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, by the way, there are there is a light up there and there is a tree in between the light and me, which is why you see weird shadows on my face. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, <laughs> but then yesterday, uh, we, we packed up the van, we loaded Willa up and we drove nine hours out here to Brunswick, uh, where we're going to be for the next handful of days. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, man, it's nice to be around family. It really is. And I know it sounds like an extreme effort and challenge to, uh, to be here. Uh, and, uh, and that certainly it is extreme, 
but, uh, but man, right? If life is just a series of moments, um, then the traveling moments are so worth the joyous moments, right? If it takes a bunch of traveling moments to capture some joyous moments with family, with people you love, whew, worth it. Worth it every time. Um, so, uh, so the family is uh, inside. Uh, they might be eating dinner right now. I'm not exactly sure, but I snuck out um, to gather with y'all. A little pre-Thanksgiving gathering. I wonder where you all are going to be for Thanksgiving. Um, uh, I hope around people you love or maybe doing something that you love. Uh, maybe if you don't have plans to be around people that you love or to do something that you love, maybe you should figure something out. Take advantage of this moment. <laughs> Who knows? Or you could lie on the couch and snooze a bit. God, I wouldn't mind a week of that. <laughs> That'd be good too. <laughs> Last night was a rocky walk. Tonight is coming soon. These shadows are bothering me. Let's see if we can figure something out here. I wonder if this is a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, it's still a little shady, isn't it? I gotta stand like right in this space and not move. Oh, there it is. Hmm. By the way, uh, uh, I have to just show you uh, now. Well, I'll tell you after. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play this song, because I started this song, and it's a tease to start a song and not finish the song, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna find a better location. And on the way there, on the way to our better location, ooh, I might have almost solved the problem here. Uh, I'm gonna show you what's on the ground behind me. But it involves an explanation. You deserve an explanation for what you're about to see. Where were we? Last night was a rocket war. The night is coming soon. Rain keep falling heavy on my head. My brother sisters old and high marching on is the only thing that gets me out of bed and I may cross the river Jordan and I may faint the rising tide well I got a simple plan to get us through the Got the preachers on the left, the politicians they're on the right, mm, and the new shouts painting everywhere we turn. But when the ones who talk the loudest also pay themselves the most, you wait to question what they're trying to make you learn. I may call.
hearts in Baltimore. But sometimes I do despair that I don't possess the will to carry on. But my brothers and my sisters keep me tethered to the wheel. And I know they keep on singing when I'm gone. And I may crawl. cold man i'll tell you one thing this uh gathering series has helped me appreciate is um <laughs> uh uh is how hard it is to play in the cold we have had a lot of cold nights together at this point haven't we um and uh and while it certainly involves oh thank you for the claps and the love that makes me happy um, while it's certainly, uh, the gathering series certainly involves a certain level of suffering <laughs> from time to time, uh, so does, so does a good hike, if you know what I'm saying. So does a good hike up a mountain. Um, and, uh, uh, and man, the journey we've got to take together, uh, during this series is, uh, is, 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 is worth some is worth some physical challenges along the way, <laughs> for sure. Um, it's interesting, right? Like, I mean, it's hard to get uh, it's hard to get service out here, let alone service underneath a light. Um, so uh, I felt like I hit the jackpot, but I still don't like the shadow. So I may try to figure out a better spot in the woods, which means we're going on an adventure. But before we do, um, uh, I have to, and I, look, I have to, uh, uh, I have to explain myself. I feel like I have to explain myself every year when I talk about my time here in Nebraska because, uh, because, uh, because there are some people in my life that I love very much, including my bass player, Poche, uh, uh, but uh, many incredible members of this community uh, who are uh, animal activists and uh, and I love that and uh, and I too consider myself uh, uh, an animal activist of uh, we have uh, we've done a lot of good work uh, um, uh, uh, over the years um, for various causes supporting uh, various animals and uh, and there's work that I'm proud of. Um, at the same time, uh, it's 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 complicated because <laughs> when I come out here, the family tradition dating back to the 1800s is to hunt, and uh, and uh, and while here, I go hunting. Uh, I go hunting with the with the men folk because that's what they do here, um, and. Uh, uh, we uh, we hunt uh, we hunt pheasant and uh, and everything that uh, everything uh, that I kill I clean myself and uh, and I cook myself uh, and uh, and so you know I mean the conflict really probably is less the hunting and me being a meat eater when I don't have to be right 
that's the part that's uh, that's a little bit uh, that's a little bit hard to justify for animal activists uh, uh, or to my animal activist friends. It's a complicated thing, right? But uh, uh, but once eating meat, it feels like a pretty humane uh, way to uh, to source your meat, killing it yourself, prepping it yourself. Um, so anyways, I was out here in, uh, I was out here, we got in last night, we slept, uh, and, uh, and, and by the way, I'm just going to talk a little bit in between, uh, songs so I can warm up my hands a little bit. <laughs> uh, I hope you don't mind. Um, uh, uh, so we got in, uh, last night, uh, and, uh, and, uh, got a couple hours of sleep, uh, in a trailer right over there. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, Allie, her generation in this family, we, they, we've all started to have uh, 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 families of our own and we, we have quickly run out of space. Um, and so they bring in uh, some trailers for us uh, to stay in. And so Allie and I get our own little trailer with Willa while we're here, a cozy little trailer. And uh, so anyways, we got in last night and woke up, uh, woke up this morning, had a cup of coffee, went out and, uh, and, uh, and went searching for pheasant. There were, uh, we're pretty early for the family. So there was only uh, four of us out in the fields, but, uh, but I got one and I cleaned one and you can see, I don't know if you can see, right? Those are the feathers right there from where I cleaned it. <laughs> Could you even see that? I can't really tell. State-of-the-art production work here, people. <laughs> uh, gosh, it's almost, it's almost, if I go this way just a little bit. Oh, that's a little bit better. Right? I'm still not very good at cleaning a bird. Like, I mean, I really, I need to uh, get to a point where I can clean a damn bird without Allie's father having to, like, kind of talk me through it. But, you know, I'm only here once a year, and, uh, and, um, so it's hard to remember all the little, I'm getting, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. So anyways, um, <laughs> Um, no, I'm not going to show you how, uh, uh, I ring its neck. Nope, nope, not, not going to do that, Melissa. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, well, okay, I will. Uh, no, the first time I, 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 I killed a bird, I had to, I had to do that, which was pretty horrible, uh, and gruesome. Now I'm a little bit desensitized to it, and, uh, and the bird I got, Today uh, went down quick and uh, and was gone when it hit the ground. So, um, so there you go. <laughs> Oh, 
drove fast like a rocket Straight like a train Hit a little truck stop, she told me I'm on the reach for the sky. She held up a pistol, there was a man in her eye. She threw me a Bible, she said, I'm in line. I sang like a preacher, she took every dime. Child called him Daniel the Bray. We were living in the shade behind an olive tree. Well, I woke one morning to a rope and some words on the sheet. She was high. Me and Daniel we travel with the wind at our backs. Sleeping out on freight beds, sharing bread from my back. Well, I don't know about. creation I could dream to know I've been running down a road trying to loosen my load I've got seven women on my mind
Cooking burgers in the house. Um, kind of excited about that. Um, uh, I am sure this will not be the end of my guitar playing tonight. Um, I don't know uh, if uh, if I've talked about this in the past, but they call it the Thanksgiving play. Really, it's a Thanksgiving variety show that happens. On Thursday, and uh, oh, thank you for the claps and the love. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. Mostly the younger uh, uh, kids are involved, but uh, in recent years, I have been recruited to be kind of the house band, so to speak. And uh, and uh, various people sing songs and do performances. Uh, pretty fun. Pretty fun. Um, so I am assuming that uh, Cousin Brett will recruit me to begin rehearsals for the Thanksgiving play um, after dinner tonight. Um, it's busy around here. I'll tell you this, uh, man, a lot of little kids, and uh, it is so cool to see Willa around, around them all. Um, one of my best buddies, Sammy, his daughter Will, uh, his daughter India was with us last weekend, and uh, she's a few months younger than Will. A bunch of these kids are a couple years older than Will, and it's just seeing her around family. I mean, look, it's the age of COVID right now, and so there is just. I know the world is normalizing in lots and lots of ways, but uh, you know. Willa has not spent a lot of her life around a lot of other human beings. And, uh, and it's just, it's so good for us to be around other people, you know, which is interesting because I feel like so much of us, so much of our world is becoming more and more isolated in so many ways these days. Um, it's just nice to, see it firsthand, be reminded how important and influential human contact can be. For all ages, I'm sure, but, uh, so we were out in the backyard today. It was a warm day. It was not cold like it is right now. Um, it was a warm day, and, uh, and man, I'm gonna tell you this, uh, I, Willa began standing up for the first time. Now, last weekend, she there was this yellow pillow on the floor, and she, like, popped up, and she stood for a second, right? And then fell down. And then when she was with my mom and I, right before we left for Nebraska, she was upset about something, and she popped up. She didn't even know she was doing it. She popped up, and she was standing, and she was making a hand gesture. And... Uh, and my mom and I were just looking at each other like, whoa, she's definitely standing. But today I think was her first time like intentionally trying to stand. She was playing in a field with a bunch of older boys and uh, she was leaning on my leg and she stood up and she standed, and she standed, she stood up and uh, she was standing and she had this like grin on her face. And then when she would fall down, she'd like, she'd like giggle and Allie and I were there and we were, we were freaking out a little bit, so, you know. She saw how excited we were that she was standing, and she got more excited, and so she stood again. Really cool. God. I mean, I have not been around my daughter for 20 days, 19 days. And it just... That part sucks. <laughs> that part sucks. Although I get to play music and that part's amazing, right? It just is hard to be away from her. And uh, it's so good to be with her. Uh, and it's so, I just feel so lucky. Every milestone I get to witness, every meal I get to share. Shit, every diaper I get to change, I don't care. 
It's awesome. It's all good. And then to add in Thanksgiving and family and the reflection that comes along with that, the reflection that comes along with driving across the country with your wife and your daughter in the back. It's a good time. It's a good time. And here I get to hang and gather with y'all and process it all in real time. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play two more. Uh, I'm gonna play two more, and uh, and then I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna drink a whiskey. I'm gonna hang with my daughter before she goes to bed. I'm gonna eat a burger. Uh, I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow and go walk some fields with the fellas. That's it. That's it. That's the plan. Some people bowed in to the sun like a peach. Others maintain that it's well in reach. Some use the sunshine to sell lemonade. Me, I'd rather just hang you in the shade.
for spending a little bit of time with me this week. Thank you to all of you who came out to our shows around the country this last month when we were on tour. It was, it was awesome to see you out there. Thank you, gatherers, for continuing to hang out. And thank you, member supporters, for helping us keep the lights on with this series. All right, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Um, I am not sure we leave Nebraska on Friday and we start driving east. So at some point during our drive back to Boston, uh, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to, we're going to gather with you this weekend. It'll probably be me in the van or on the side of the road. I don't know, maybe a hotel, um, but we'll figure it out. Um, um, please stay safe. Keep on looking out for one another and I'll see you soon.